How's it going everyone? I want to show you how to quickly and easily install HE texture packs into Dolphin games, whatever game you're going to be playing. So for today, I'm going to be using Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So I'm going to go ahead and load up here. I'll show you. This is what the game looks like, just natively. I've um, upscaled the resolution, but these are original textures. So as you can see, the characters like Mario and Yoshi and the items in the shop kind of pixelated and blurry, even though I am running at uh, seven times native resolution with any aliasing and all these enhancements. But now I'll show you. Um, with the loaded, with the custom loaded textures, look at the characters. You can see Mario all items in the shop. They sharpen up. So that's with the texture pack. That's without it. And there's gonna be other enhancements too, but that's gonna be the main thing you're gonna see. Is a lot of these items aren't gonna be so pixelated. Again. With the textures. So I'll show you how to do that. So one of the first things you're going to want to do is find a texture pack that uh, that you like. So in this case, I just googled Paper Mario Thousand Year Door HD Texture Pack, and the very first thing that came up was on the Dolphin forums, the emulator that I use, an HD Texture Pack for the game that I want. Go ahead and download a texture pack that you like. And anyway, once you do that, you're going to see in Dolphin. You're going to go to um, Config. Go to paths. You need to find the load path right here. So this is the path on our system that Dolphin is going to load HD texture packs from. So I've highlighted the entire thing here, and you can copy this path, then go into your file browser here and paste the path. So now we have this pulled up, and I can go to my downloads right up here, and this is the HD texture pack. So we're going to go ahead and go into it, go into our textures folder. GAM. So I'm going to cut this and move this into the textures path. And now that that's done, we can go into our graphics menu and go into the advanced tab and you're going to enable load custom textures and it shows you that it's going from the load textures game ID. So that GAM is the game ID. So if you get one for a different game, like Wind Waker for example, it's not going to be GAM, it might be a different game ID. So load custom textures and prefetch custom textures is on. Hey, I wanted to add a side note here that load custom textures is the option that actually enables the texture pack, but prefetch custom textures stores the entire texture pack into RAM. It loads it all at once, and that way it can always have access to it, and it never needs to, uh, to try to find out when it needs it. If you try to run it without prefetch custom textures, you're gonna run into weird lags and stutters where the system doesn't have the textures loaded and it needs to try to draw them and get to them quickly, but they're not prefetched. And so prefetch is what you're gonna wanna use, but if you don't have enough RAM or system memory to store the entire texture pack, then it's gonna be a bad time. And it's an even worse time if you just have the option disabled entirely. So you might need like 32 gigabytes of memory or something for larger texture packs. But nonetheless, you are going to want that option enabled. Then you should be able to open up your game again. I'm going to load my save state here. You see right here at the top, loading 6307 custom textures. You see that? And I want to confirm that it works. It took a minute to kick in there. You see what it sharpened up. I can go back in here and show you what it looks like without it. This is without. It may be hard to tell on YouTube, but I can tell that it's night and day. Boom. There it goes. Pretty easy.